one of the other things that she said was to people outside of the office at the courthouse, the men that were sitting out there, make sure you speak to them because you never know who you're going to need. And one day she was working at the supervisor's election and somebody knocked on the door. And she went to the door and he said, Ms. Higgins, your tire is flat. We're going to go out there and just give us your keys. We'll take care of it. And she told me, she would call me and tell me different things that would happen. And I am just so appreciative of having known her. But I'm more appreciative today of seeing you here. Meg and I could have been here alone with Livingston and Mrs. Fowler <laughs> and Albert and Aura and Melanie and Randy, I'm sorry, Sunji and Bobby Valentine and that could have been it. And of course Sugar Hill, we depended on them. But you remember her. You really have. And you have said such nice things about her. And what can I say but thank you? And Rebecca called me and asked me, well, how did this happen, Yvonne? Tell me a little bit more about it. And I said, well, Matt uh, said he's heard so much through Jerusalem at scholarship dinners. He said that there's, uh, this lady has done a lot, and I really think we need to honor her. And that thrilled me, and I told my cousins, I sent them an email. And it's been difficult, and I have to apologize to them. It took me seven years to get over a mother not being with me anymore. I think that's a very, very long time. And I stopped talking for a while, and I didn't even call my cousins to tell them that we were doing this. I texted them or I emailed them because I didn't really want to talk about it. Mother, mother, mother is, she tried very hard to follow her mother, Mrs. Annie L. Higgins, and her father, Albert Higgins, and her sister was always 